the 34th Psalm, David proclaims, I will bless Yahweh at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Since my soul makes its boast in Yahweh, let the humble hear and be glad. Oh, magnify Yahweh with me, and let us exalt his name together. And the reason why David could write this is because David understood who the one true God is, Jesus Christ. Because if you know Jesus Christ, you cannot help but praise him and worship him. You fall on your knees before him because he is worthy of all glory and honor and praise. So one of the things that we are lacking is we are lacking proper worship of God. We are lacking proper praise of God. Anyone need tickets to the game? God is worthy of praise, worthy of honor, and worthy of glory. And when we ascribe to him the glory due his name, we are worshiping properly. But many of us don't do that. In fact, every one of us has fallen short of the righteous standard that God requires. And because we have fallen short of God's standards, we don't worship him. In fact, you love your sin so much that you refuse to even acknowledge God as God. Because to acknowledge Him as God would mean that you need to repent of your sin. And so what we do in our flesh is we deny who God is because of our unrighteousness. The Bible tells us that the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness of men and all unrighteousness of men who by their unrighteousness suppress the truth. And so what we announce to you today is the righteousness of God that has been manifested to us in Jesus Christ. God's righteousness was put on display when he punished Jesus Christ on the cross. God's righteousness was put on display when Jesus Christ entered into the world and lived a human life like you but never once sinned. So that's how Jesus is the same as us. He became a man but he's different from us in that he never sinned. Jesus Christ came into the world to pay the penalty sinners deserve, not because anybody asked him to, not because anybody was hoping he would come. Jesus Christ came at the command of God himself. And he became a man born of a virgin without the stain of original sin, the stain of original sin that actually brings each one of us to the point where we sin egregiously against God and Jesus Christ lived a perfect life being tempted even by the devil himself. And so what the command of God is that each and every one of us each and every one of you must turn from your sin. Change the direction that you're looking and turn away from your sin and put your trust in Jesus Christ alone for your salvation. This turning is often called repentance. Repentance is turning from the direction you're facing and turning in a new one and trusting that the only righteousness that you have before a holy God is the righteousness that's granted by faith through Jesus Christ. 
The Bible promises that all those who believe in Jesus Christ will be forgiven of their sins. That all those who put their trust in Jesus Christ as their righteousness can be seen as righteous before a holy God. For it is appointed to each one of us to die and then face the judgment of God. And God's judgment will be severe and it will seem harsh. Because God is righteous and holy and we are not. The things that God does seem difficult for us to understand. His ways are higher than our ways. And so what we call on you to do today is to hear the word of the Lord. Jesus said, my sheep know my voice and they follow me. He said they listen to me.